don't know what to say. It was quite a, a rude shock. Someone that you can meet and it will solve your problem within a second. to celebrate our sister, Mrs. Omobolanli Rahim, that has gone to meet with her creator. She was a very dedicated Christian, uh, Sunday school teacher, lover of all in the church, in a neighborhood, in the Nigerian Association, very hardworking sister of ours. But it was just a pity that her life was just cut short with that unfortunate incident that happened. And we pray that we will not experience such things in our church, in our families, and in Nigeria as a nation. And what we think can really stop this um, unfortunate incident again is that um, we must ensure that we get justice for Mrs. Omobolanle Rahim. Not only for her, but for every citizen that has gone through this type of um, um, menace. And um, like our NBA president, YC Mekhel SAN had rightly spoken that we are going to make sure that we work with the government to make sure that the policies, you know, there are laws in place for police not to get drunk while on duty. There are so many laws, fine laws, fine policies, but the issue we have is implementation problem. So if we can implement the good laws that we have and make sure that we bring those that are corporate, we bring them to book, then I think it will serve as a checks and balances, you know, between the police and where the citizens. We are not supposed to see the police and be afraid of them. No, we are supposed to see them and be happy that we see somebody that can protect us. Somebody, an officer, that will help us, you know, to fight injustice. But ironically, they are the one perpetuating this um, menace in our society. So we think that if everybody speak up, Speak up wherever you are. Like I said, we have Nigerian Bar Association branches all over. In Lagos State, in all the states of the Federation. If anything happens, just go there. Find, just ask anybody, where can I get Nigerian Bar Association branch around this area? Just go there. They have, you see their chairman, they have their vice chairman, a statutory chairpersons of Human Rights Committee of their branches. They will actually take up your matter. Don't keep quiet when anything happens around your jurisdiction. Go find the lawyer. Go find the lawyer in the Nigerian Bar Association. They will take up your matter and they will take it up free of charge. Free of charge. Nobody will charge you. Nobody will collect money from you. All you need is to speak up. When we begin to speak up and when MBA begins to, you know, prosecute these matters, I think it will drastically reduce all forms of um, injustice and shooting that we have been having in our country.
My name is Jane Estobari. I'm a lawyer and a member of the Nigerian Bar Association Lagos Branch. Where did our colleague belongs to? There are a lot of officers, the president here, so many persons, and uh, we came to honor our sister who passed on in that traffic situation, tragic in mood, and it's so sad. Uh, we, are, uh, we are giving great uh, glory to God and they ask that uh, this thing will not happen again. Uh, our sis people have spoken a lot, most of our officers on the MP have spoken a lot on the, this matter, and I don't need to repeat it. Our president was here, saw him, and all the top officers of the MP from national and the branch. So we are praying that uh, the reforms being advocated by MBA will take root in the Nigerian po uh, police force so that we don't have this type of incidents again. The life of every Nigerian matters. And it shouldn't be. Life is sacred. And it's number one fundamental right protected by our constitution. And it should not be taken for granted. It is unfortunate it has happened, but I hope the nation generally should learn from this.